is Tim Mills. And if you ever wanted to make YouTube videos, but you wish that you had a simple process in order to make them the most effective, that's what today's video is about. I'm going to share with you four tips in a, in a strategy to make the perfect YouTube video. So step one is your intro. Seems simple, right? As you see when I open the video, it says, hey, this is Tim Mills. So basically what you want to think about when you're introducing yourself is that you're talking to one person in the camera. You know, you want to avoid things like, hey guys, this is Tim Mills, or how's everyone doing, or how's it going everybody, or, you know, you want to avoid those kind of things. You want to pretend like you're talking to one person, because basically, you are. There's somebody else on the other side, just like you, sitting on the other side of the computer, watching this video, so talk to that person, okay? Step two is a question. Did you notice how I asked the question after I introduced myself? I believe it, I said, do you want to learn how to make the perfect YouTube video? You know, so what that does, what does the question do? The question basically engages your audience. Now they know what they're going to expect to learn from the video. So how cool is that? So that's what they want to know. Because if you can get them to be interested in your video right from the beginning, they're going to stay to the end. Because if not, they're just going to like, oh, well, yeah, this, I'm just going to push it off. So you want to make sure you have that engaging question about what it is that you're going to teach them. And step three is the value. So you want to make sure you're delivering the value. Just like I'm doing to you right now, I'm giving you four steps to make a great video. So after I've introduced myself and I've given you the question, now I'm providing the value to you so that way you want to, or what it is that you want to learn, or what it is I want to teach you. So that's the thing, that's the next step. So that's step three. And step four is your call to action. One of the most important aspects of making a YouTube video is, why did you make the video? You have to think about that. What was the purpose of your video? Do you want them to like your page? Do you want them to subscribe to your YouTube channel? Do you want to send them to your website? Do you want to do all of the above? You know, that's important that you have that at the very end of your video because, see, here's the deal. People will usually do what you tell them to do, but they won't just automatically do it. So if you really want them to like your page, tell them to like your page. If you want them to subscribe to your YouTube channel, say, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want them to go to your website, say, please check out my website at timsfit.com. It really is that simple. So that's the four steps that you need to make a perfect video. If you follow that structure, you will find that you have very, very good success, and you'll find that people actually will want to watch your videos. Plus, you want to make sure you keep them short. Keep them like three to four minutes, especially as a beginner, because most people won't listen to you for that much longer until they get to know you, until they know that you're delivering value that they want to see. Okay? So three to four minutes is a good set point on new videos. All right? So I hope that helped you guys. Uh, that's the, the, the formula that I've been following for a long time. It works really well, and it, make, it keeps it super simple. So, But if you like the video, subscribe to my channel. Come over to my website at timsfit.com, or you can even, if you have a question, just send me an email at timsfit at gmail.com. I'd love to answer them, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.